Welcome back to Alaskan Ballistics. This is Chuck. Today we are shooting the Ruger 2.5 inch 44 Magnum. This is the Red Hawk. So this is considered the Kenai Backpacker, not the Ruger Super Alaskan Super Red Hawk, which has a little bit thicker frame and barrel. And we're going to be shooting something we've shot on the channel before. One of my favorite 44 Magnum loads, the low recoil 255 grain hard cast from Buffalo Bores, a Keith gas check bullet. It's supposed to be going 1350. We're going to see what it actually gets out of this little barrel. And then we're going to do a pretty cool penetration test with a whole bunch of stuff. And here's what the bullet looks like. I've been carrying this and hadn't really tested it, but have been carrying it. Uh, went out in the woods this winter um, just for moose and tack or the wild chance that a bear happens to wake up for a minute or two. But And there we go. We will see you at the range. Oh, 44 Magnum Ruger Red Hawk, 2.5 inch barrel. This is the 255 grain Keith gas check. These penetrate really, really well in all the other barrel lengths I've tested them in. So I haven't tested them in this barrel length yet, but that's what I've been carrying. So we're going to see what they get over the chronograph, see if we can still knock that 900 to 1,000 pounds of energy out of this little barrel. Hopefully we can get that. If not, it still penetrates well. So we'll, we'll do a penetration test after the add up slide. Twelve forty six. Not bad. Twelve thirty eight. Twelve thirty six. Twelve forty two. Twelve twenty. 12, 15, and that's six. Check out the add-up slide, and then we'll do our penetration test after the add-up slide. The Ruger Red Hawk 44 Magnum 2.5 inch Kenai Backpacker. We had a Buffalo Bore 255 grain Keith Gas Check Hard Cast Lead Low Recoil with an average muzzle velocity 1,232.833 standard deviation of 12.46 an average muzzle energy of 860.805 foot pounds we we're at about 800 feet of elevation with the wind blowing in 20 to 30 mile per hour gust between 36 and 42 degrees above zero fahrenheit this week's shout out goes to the bohemian hunt club link is in the description hunting videos hog hunting videos go check them out okay we ran out of water jug so i had to get creative with the redneck science here. I've got that frying pan I've shot at before with the 9, 40, 45, and 10 millimeter uh, extreme penetrators video. I've got two packs of ribs they have been shot at before, but there's still meat left on the bone, so we're good to go. I've got a water bottle, three of these propane tanks, and we've got a box of Cabela sales flyers back here. We are going to shoot it with a 255 grain Keith hard cast out of the two and a half inch barrel 44 Ruger Red Hawk. Stay tuned. Here we go, 44 Magnum Ruger Red Hawk. Keith gas jack, 255 grain from Buffalo Boar. Supposed to be their low recoil. I got three propane tanks, uh, ribs, frying pan, uh, water bottle, and a thing of Cabela's sales flyers in the back that has not been touched. Hopefully this 255 grain can get stopped by all that, but it's a hard gas bullet. We'll see. All right. Well, we definitely made it through the water jug. Let's see if we got it, got it stopped in something.
like I hit a little high here on the propane tanks. You can still smell the propane out from them. Didn't think I hit that high. But it ripped though. Yeah, see it was kind of in the middle of the water jug right where it wanted to be ripped. Looks like it came out that side. I don't know. Might have got stopped by the ribs. Nope. There's a sixth hole right there. Right where I was aiming in the uh, frying pan. And we've got one hole in this box. So we'll open up the box and show it to you here. What kind of man forgets a knife and his girlfriend has scissors for nails or whatever? Alright, let's see if we got stopped by the Cabela sales flyer. Uh, we definitely did. Didn't go deep in here at all after hitting all that stuff. There's the first tear in the paper about that many flyers in. Looks like I can feel the bulge of the bullet right in here. There it is. Hard cast lead, 255 Grand Keith. That was a lot of stuff to go through, and it made it. I am always been impressed with this little round out of all the guns I've shot it out of. I have videos on it on the uh, 9 inch and my old 4 and 5 inch Blackhawk I used to have that I traded to Chuk. So make sure you go check those videos out. I'll put a link in the description. But there we go 255 grain Keith Hardcast Buffalo Bore. Went through all that junk that was left over and still had enough t uh, energy to penetrate about 2 inches of the newspaper. So I would say. It'd probably go through a bear skull. That would be my guess. Definitely would be my guess. It would definitely go through a bear skull if you had to use it. God bless. Take care. Support us on Patreon. Find us on Instagram. Find us on Facebook. And, you know, if you have any questions, you can message me on Instagram or, or Facebook. God bless. Take care. We will see y'all at the range.